morning. We are on day 18, Pablo Across America 2011. I don't know where we are, and I don't know where we're going, so I'm gonna ask my man Wes. Yeah, we're going to picturesque Laurel, Mississippi. Not 115 miles away, thank goodness. How far away is it? I, I think it's only like 65 or 70. I'm kind of let down by that. We're gonna do the, the TT today, though. Oh, yeah. Man, so we're gonna, we're gonna break some legs anyway. So. so what goes on there in Laurel? Is there anything famous from there? Oh, we were talking about this last night. Uh, is it, um, not Lawrence Fishburne? No. We're gonna cross by um, the homes of several celebrities yeah. and blues musicians and artists. Yeah. Um, so I don't even know who. I'll have to Wikipedia. Um, okay. Laurel, Mississippi. Later. So, so we have three dedications today. Um, we have a lot of riders. We have a lot of time trialing going on today. So we're gonna definitely put out a lot of wattage on our bikes to honor these three kids in their um, journey through cancer treatment. The first one is Bella from Miami, Florida. She's eight years old. She loves Mickey Mouse at Disney World. That's a great thing to love if you're from Florida because Disney World isn't that far from, uh, from Miami. Um, she has a six-year-old sister named Raina, four dogs and two parrots, and her favorite parrot is Roxy. And I'm assuming she has two parrots as well. That's a lot of people. It's like Noah's Ark times 40. So, Bella, we are uh, going to be riding for you today along with JL, who is age two from, how do you pronounce it? Puyallup, Washington. Puyallup, Puyallup. Trust me, if you saw it on that paper, it would be hard to pronounce. Um, JL's treatment ends in November. That's pretty darn soon. And uh, JL is doing great with having minimal side effects and his hair is already growing back. Right the three on. cancer dads here know that that's an awesome sign uh, because that means that the fast growing cells in the body are starting to do their job again and the chemo is not hammering them anymore. That's a good thing. Our third dedication today is to Maggie, who's five years old from Jamestown, North Carolina. Uh, Maggie um, has a tumor in the middle of her brain. She's had brain surgery to remove the tumor in January of 2010. Uh, she suffered a stroke during her surgery, and so she has a little bit of weakness on her left side, and she has some complications from that stroke. Um, the great news is she just started kindergarten, and uh, her biggest challenge right now is struggling uh, through kindergarten, chemotherapy, chemotherapy, kindergarten. We all know that chemotherapy knocks your immune system down, and we all know, those of us who are parents, which is most of us, uh, kindergarten, particularly kindergarten, but school in general is like a place where kids go to learn and it's where they also go to get sick <laughs> because there's so many different colds and sneezes going on there. So Maggie's got to be very careful, as all cancer kids do, uh, jumping into school and then going back into treatment. Um, the great news about Maggie is that her latest scans show that the, the tumor is stable and that it's actually shrunk a tiny bit. And a tiny bit in the cancer world is like winning the World Series five years in a row. The thing any cancer parent or cancer sibling or, or cancer kid or friend knows is that like any day without bad news is a day with great news. So um, Maggie, we, um, we are gonna kick butt for you out here. She still has one year left to go on chemo. So next year on Pablo Across America 2012, she'll still be in chemo and we'll still be talking to you through the wonders of a uh, flip cam, rest in peace, thanks to Cisco Systems, <laughs> and through, through the wonders of Google and YouTube. Uh, it's a real honor to ride for these kids. And uh, there's been a lot of smack talk around here about who's gonna win the time trial. And the great news is only two people are gonna win it. And I think about, yeah. <laughs> uh, it seems like we have five or six two-man teams. The, the rule is the, 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 the team time is when the last rider crosses the finish line. So um, tonight or this afternoon, whenever we can get around to it, we're gonna let you know the uh, result of our time trial. The time trial is a giant financial challenge among the group. So it's gonna be raising a lot more money for Pablo Across America. It's something that our friend Mike, there he is, the tall man in the back, came up with to have some, some friendly competition. And uh, we're excited to give you the play-by-play -play later on, so see you later.